And the mac and cheese. Um, uh, Miss Mabel, can I see Cassie tomorrow? Sure, but if your room's a mess and you ain't home before dinner, we're gonna have problems, boy. Thank you, Miss Mabel. I'll make sure. Girls, help me with these dishes. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, Mama, why he's so angry? Never mind that, child. Run and tell your brother to get to bed. Yes, Mama. Yes, Miss Mabel. Hold up a minute, girls. Pull up a chair. Now, I am going to be here for forever, and I want you to help me with your brothers. Mama, why are you telling us this? I don't know, baby. Miss Mabel? Hmm? Boy, why are you yelling? I'm sorry, Mr. Luke. I can't find Miss Mabel. Did she leave early? Leave me alone! <sighs> yes, sir. I can't find Miss Mabel, and Mr. Luke isn't telling me much. She could have gone to the market. She couldn't have. She always takes me in Scarlet. She wouldn't have gone alone. She'll be home soon. Um, alright. I'm going to go see Cassie. You girls better be good. Listen to Mr. Luke. You know how he is. Okay. I didn't think that Miss Mabel was actually going to let you come over. Oh, uh, maybe I should just go then. No! Come here. Sit down. Miss Mabel wasn't here this morning. Hopefully she doesn't give me a problem. I mean, she did say you could come last night. I have a really strange feeling that I won't see her again. Don't say that. I'm sure she's fine. Cassie, I need to go. Can't you stay a little longer? I wish I could. Fine. I'll miss you. I'll call you. All right. Bye. Where were you, boy? Cassie's. Miss Mabel said I could go last night at dinner. Mama hasn't come home yet. Me and Scarlett are hungry. Maisie, you haven't eaten? I did. We just had bread. Where's Scarlett? Jonathan? Scarlett. Everything's fine. We'll have a slumber party for tonight. Anything you want. Maisie! Scarlett! Where are you? Jonathan Calhoun, you're being arrested for the murder of Mabel, Maisie Lee, Luke, and Scarlett Calhoun. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you can say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you cannot afford one, one will be appointed to you. You can exercise these rights when you please. Do you understand these rights as I have read them to you? What are you talking about? State of Texas versus Jonathan Calhoun. Please be seated. Bring him in. Hello, Mr. Calhoun. Welcome back. Thank you, Your Honor. It has come to my attention that you wish to represent yourself. Why is that? I didn't do anything to them. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You need to believe me. I'm sorry, Mr. Calhoun, but today the final verdict will be decided. Are you sure you want to stick with your original story? You're possibly up for the death penalty. Yes, I'm innocent. I love my family, and I wouldn't kill them. We believe Mr. Calhoun is a threat to society, and prison is not enough to pay for what he did. Thank you. Jury? There's a 12 over 0 vote on Mr. Calhoun getting the death penalty. We also agree he's a threat to society. 
Well, Mr. Calhoun, the decision has been made. May God have mercy on your soul. Your Honor, I didn't do it. Court is now dismissed. Ain't today the day? Yep, October 8th, 1995. After today, I'm gone. Well, good luck. Not that it'll work for you anyway. Yep. Calhoun, let's go. It's time. All right, I'm coming. Cassie! Cassie, I didn't do it! You have to believe me! Don't worry, Jonathan. I know.